4K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. We've got the San Antonio Spurs taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Spurs start out with the ball. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court right now for the Spurs. Ori is out there with Duncan. Then there's Parker. Then there's Ginobili. And it's Bowen in at the three spot. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Cassell gets the bucket. Cassell's got the game going here with the first basket for the Timberwolves. And always feels good to get on the board first. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting contest. If you look at the competitive matchups out there tonight, we're in store for a good one. Inside, Duncan. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, in that area of the floor, that's where Tim Duncan really shines. He knows how to take care of business from there. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That's his first foul. Out of minute played so far here in the first. Here's Hassel. An extremely intelligent defender. Ginobili reads the game as well as anyone and makes plays because of it. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. Yeah, sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Parker kicks to Duncan. Over Johnson. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Well, a good-looking mid-range shot from Tim Duncan. The veteran continues to find ways to score. Pass to Hassel. Garnett up top. Pass to Sprewell. Lock at six. Back to Garnett. Over or KG. That's good. This is the kind of guy that you wake up in a cold sweat the night before you play him. Just a matchup nightmare. Tricky, confident, and he takes on all comers. Now here's Parker. Pulls up on the elbow, and there it is for him. No, that, that's just too easy for Parker there. He, he loves getting those opportunities. Out to the right wing. To the wing on the left. Cassell against Parker. Here's Cassell. Garnett the pass to Spreewell. His three-pointer is off the mark. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Greg Popovich. Well, Kevin, he expects their interior defense to be airtight. He said rim protection is something we really do well. Our ability to contest shots allows us to become more aggressive on the perimeter. It makes it a win-win. We'll see if all of that holds up for them tonight. Back to you. Good work, David. Thank you. It sounds like defense is going to be the key for them today. And it usually is. Uh, they try to use their D to make life miserable for every opponent they play. And sometimes it's not just about one player. For them, it's about a complete defensive effort in the paint, on the perimeter, in transition. They've got to be all over the place. San Antonio making a switch here. Barry's checked in. Here's Cassell. Pass to Manson. Deflects the pass. Here's Trent. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Parker finds Ginobili. Here's Bowen. Over Serbiak. Bowen, good. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Trent can't hit. And, and barely anyone in the area, and still he whiffs on the bunny. 
Nice shot by Ginobili. Uh, with the great handle there, the superb fluidity, Ginobili showing everyone how it's supposed to be done. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Or he's checked in for the Spurs. Five seconds left here in the opening quarter. Gazelle against Ginobili. Trent passes to Serbiak. Down to five on the shot clock. And the three ball is good. Serbiak got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Ginobili outside. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. <laughs> 24 seconds left in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Duncan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. They get Wally Serbia. Tim, uh, Tim Duncan knows a thing or two and how to draw fouls right there, doing some damage. The big fundamental still getting it done. He doesn't get the second one. It's three on three on the fast break. And here is Serbia. And he banks in the layup. Zerbiak got five. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Timberwolves lead by one. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one uh, yeah getting an early boost from the bench that that's been the difference here so far well a, a good coach always optimizes his rotation and in the first quarter he did a great job of that on the court for San Antonio here in the second we've got Duncan Barry is out there with Ginobili. Then there's Ori, and it's Bowen in at the small forward position. Cassell against Ginobili from about 19 feet, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And this is what it's all about, guys, the competitive spirit, the energy that we're seeing. This one's got the feeling like it's going to go down to the wire. And if it does, as evenly as these two teams have played here, it's anyone's guess who's going to come out on top. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Here's Cassell. The pass to Zerbiak. Jacks up a three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Yeah, how about the range there from Zerbiak? Uh, he doesn't hesitate when pulling from outside. Pass to Duncan over Trent, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Spurs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The free throw drops for Duncan. And during the early stretches of Tim Duncan's career, the free throw line was a bit of a weakness for him. He's recovered from that quite consistent over the past few years. Parker's checked in for the Spurs, and Duncan drops them both. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Knocked loose. Over to the left wing. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Parker's running. And it goes down two points. Parker's got it all tied up now for the Spurs. 
Yeah, that floater is another one of Parker's go-to shots, one that continues to befuddle defenses. Great open look there. Sprewell's got his first bucket of the night. This offense just continues to impress. Ginobili dishes to Duncan. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And the Timberwolves call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Hoiberg. Banked in off the glass. Hoiberg's got the lead up to two now for the Timberwolves. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the de-thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. He kicks to Ginova. Duncan outside. Passes to Parker. Just four to shoot. Unloads from 13. Minnesota with the rebound. Garnett's got four rebounds in this game. To the right side. Out to the right wing. Here's the three. And it's three well missing. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Minnesota in the lead. Johnson outside. Pass to Sprewell. They get it back. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And Garnett, a vocal leader, always trying to psych his guys up and get into the head of the opponents. Minnesota shooting their first free throws of the game. He makes one of two that time. Spurs trail by three. Here's Duncan. He's got 10. Parker kicks to Duncan. Over Johnson. San Antonio again missing. Timberwolves leading by three. Sprewell, the pass to Garnett. And yes, it's good. Garnett's got five points now this quarter. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? Now here's Ginobili. Parker, right side. Shoots. Five to shoot. Off the left rim and out. I'd just like to see the defensive effort get better for their ball club. They can't expect guys to miss the mid-range Jays every time. Here's Garnett, and he finishes nicely on the way up. Garnett's got nine. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Janope. Not a lot of room. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Barry's got himself on the board with three there. And how about the stroke there from Barry? He has such an effortless release on his three ball. Here's Sprewell. Kicks it to Garnett. Over Ora. Kevin Garnett again. 11 points in the game. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And so it's Minnesota with their lead standing at six points. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. Their largest deficit of the period was just four points. They were right there within shouting distance the entire time. 
In the second quarter, they were easily the better team. The points started coming for them in bunches. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic from Kevin Garnett. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. Uh, efficient so far with the shots that he's taken. His contributions have been fantastic. We've got Garnett, also Johnson out there. And it's Hassel in at the two. So that's the Timberwolves five. The rebound by Johnson. Timberwolves leading by six. Down low. With the fadeaway. And again, it's Minnesota. So good at picking his spots. He always knows exactly what the team needs from him offensively. That's why they hold the lead. Now here's Parker. Ano Ginobili on the wing. Nails the wide open jump shot. Ginobili's got his second basket of the night. Smart, smart play by Manu. The strategic mindset so effective on that screen roll. Pass all the pass to Cassell. To the inside, Garnett. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Garnett's got the lead up to eight now for the Timberwolves. San Antonio calls timeout. Look at Kevin Garnett. What a contribution. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Minnesota making a switch here. It's picked off. Here's Cassell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Minnesota, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. Sam Cassell, two shots. First free throw is good. And so Cassell nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Now here's Ginobili. He's tightly guarded. The pass to Bowen. Hits it from three-point range. Bowen's got five. Well, at this point in his career, playmaking is Manu's strong point. Locates the open man there. Castle, the pass to Cassell. The shot, no good. Good D by Parker. Pass to Duncan. Here's Bowen. Offline with his three. Minnesota leading by seven. Passes it to Cassell. To the paint. Bowen the pass to Parker. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Duncan on the mark with the 15-footer. 12 points for him. And when your seven-footer, like Tim Duncan is, is knocking down jumpers off of passes like that there, it is devastating to the defense. Parker against Cassell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For Minnesota, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Gary's checked in for Orr. Both shots good from the strike. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Seven point differential. He kicks it to Duncan. Over Trent. And another basket for San Antonio. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Casale against Parker. Pass to Zerbiat. Six on the shot clock. The three. 
Here's Trent, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Parker kicks to Genova. Missile blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Minnesota making a switch here. Garnett's checked in. 58 seconds left in the third. To the paint. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. Uh, he's having a night right now. Credit to the shooting touch helping his team with the lead. Cassell against Parker. Duncan high post. We've seen him miss a couple from the line so far going two for four. The free throw drops for Duncan and the Timberwolves making a change here. He hits both from the strike. Minnesota leading by four. If they play it right, we're talking a two for one. Yeah, this is where it comes down to really good clock management and you want to maximize each of your possessions. 27 seconds left to play in the third. Kicks it to Genova. Here's Bowen, guarded by Garnett. Bowen the pass to Ginobili. Four on the clock, over Johnson, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Ginobili's got seven points here in this quarter. And the pass to Garnett. Over Bowen, off target. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. But Timberwolves on top. They lead by a bucket. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. But you can do it with the pass. It's a prime example of that right there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Barry. Parker out there with Ginobili. And it's Duncan. And it's Bowen in at the four slot. And how about Sprewell? They're dropping ones from deep. Really like how he's starting to get a feel for that three-point. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And look at Kevin Garnett. What a contribution. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. He does not think they're giving him everything. He said they've been faster to us all night. Loose balls, rebounds, everything. we got to wake up. It's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We've got to seize this game. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Thanks, David. Here's Sprewell. No good on the quick three. And lots of credit for the team around him. They're picking up the slack here tonight. He just can't buy a bucket right now. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Wally Servio. And how about the determination of Bowen defensively? He's active and always efficient with that corner tray ball. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Hassel's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Or he's checked in for Mono Ginobili. Good on the second free throw. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And every move he makes looks like the right one at this point. Yeah, shooting at a very high percentage right now. This one extending the lead. Bowen the pass to Orr. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Shoot from 12, and that one goes long. Spurs trail by four. Pass to Bowen. 
He kicks it to Duncan. Down to five on the shot clock, and the layup's good off the glass. Ori's got four points in the quarter. Extraordinary work from Parker to find his teammate for the open basket. His passing is just phenomenal. Here's Garnett, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Garnett's got 21 in the game. Oh, boy, looks like he was injured there. And, boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. San Antonio making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Casale's checked in for the Timberwolves. Pass to Duncan. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. More fundamental footwork from Timmy there. So good at getting baskets over even good defense. And Duncan, no good on that. Minnesota in the lead. All sorts of time. Cassell gets the bucket. And defensively, neither side able to get many stops. Well, it's one of those nights where if a team down the stretch can get one or two stops, they may win it. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And if you're going to go cross court with the ball, you have to be sure the passing lane is open. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Parker kicks to Duncan. Back to Parker. Pass to Duncan. Duncan drawing the double team. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? It's Tim Duncan. And with the and one, he's cut it to a one-possession game. Just terrific determination on his part. Minnesota calls timeout. They're up by three. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Garnett. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the fourth. Cassell kicks to Garnett. Over Bowen. That one, no good. And the Spurs going the other way now. Count that one. And the Timberwolf lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Tony Parker. Huge shot by Parker there at a moment when his team needed one. A big-time player who welcomes any challenge that comes his way. Artful passing on that play, showing a real desire to set up the teammate. It's stolen by Johnson. To the inside. Garnett uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a five-point Timberwolves lead. Yeah, Garnett, a remarkable score. Just a number of moves inside to choose from, including that little feathery-looking jump shot. San Antonio calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 109 left in the fourth quarter. Now Ginobili. Duncan inside. Johnson on him. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Yeah, so the game is on the line, and you don't want Tim Duncan with the basketball. You're crazy. It falls! Really hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that one, with one of his shots falling. In a crucial moment, too. He's been doing that all night. No one's come close to stopping him. Outside, Ginobili... Minnesota with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. And so they foul intentionally. <laughs> 32 seconds left to play in the final quarter. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. 
Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Duncan. Garnett grabs the board. Shooting for Minnesota. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And those attempts right now at the charity stripe are helping them pull away. Garnett with the block. Cassell against Parker. Here's Cassell. And so Minnesota takes the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.